You could try giving me commands, too. Huh? No, I'm good. Let's just go. Seriously, it's okay. Let's try it. Y you can give me any command you want. Oh, fine. Um... Abracadabra. Go be quiet for a while. Hmm. 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 What are you two doing? Come on, Hubert. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Hey, don't leave me here. Asbel, that's just cold. That's just cold. That's not how to treat a lady. I mean, she's not a lady yet, but you get my point. Yo, Philia's Carta. Uh, Magic Carta. Not as good as character cards from Great. For <laughs> this is Grace's. Not as good as character card from character cards from Berseria, but a pretty solid mini game. We're gonna be uh, we'll definitely be getting all the Cardas in the game because there are titles associated with it, and Magic Carta is genuinely pretty fun. Philia's Carta, look out! Good old Tales of Destiny. We just uh, we just saw Philia in uh, the last Tales of the Abyss stream where we fought her in the cameo battle. That was a fun cameo battle. Yeah, try this on. Try this on and die. I think that's all of them. All eliminated. Dude, I'm so happy to be playing Graces again. I love this game. So good. Give me more gel seeds. Okay, fighting, to be honest, in the childhood arc is not as crucial. So I'm gonna start probably speeding along battles just a little bit. Like, well, speeding up as- speeding battles as in, like, not doing a lot of them. Because I want to make sure we still have to get, like, skits and everything as well. And I do- we're definitely gonna finish- I want to finish the childhood arc today. So, we're definitely gonna make sure we stream for long enough to do that. Because I'd rather get it done in one stream. I think this leads to, like, some kind of... Oh no, this is relevant later in the game. Not right now. Maybe there's a discovery that comes up in, like, the adulthood arc. The main arc, as, uh, Graces calls it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hello, boys. Your father wishes to speak with you. He's just gonna yell at us again. He doesn't know when to quit. Asbel, you mustn't speak so of your father. He thinks only of you and your brother's best interests. Ugh, not this again. Your father is waiting in his study. Hurry along and see what he needs. All right, all right. Hey, Sharia, can you keep an eye on her until we get back? Huh? Oh, sure. You must forgive my son, Sharia. He puts you through so much trouble. Oh, no, it's no trouble. Regardless, you should rest. You must be exhausted after all that Asbel put you through. I, I didn't put her through anything. You are the heir to the Launt Lordship, Asbel. You must learn to think more carefully about those around you. From now on, you are forbidden to take Sherry with you when you play. Do you understand? No! Lady Carrie, please! I'm fine! No, she's got a point. Sherry! This is ridiculous. Dad's bad enough, but now you? I'll play with whoever I want, so you can just butt out. Asbel. <laughs> Sharia. Oh dear. You should take her home, Frederick. Come along, Sharia. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Sharia. We should go see what Dad wants. Hey, you want to come? Yes. Before that, I think there's a side quest to do. 
it is in fact missable? One side quest is after meeting with Asbel's father. But first we have to do the side quest at Sharia's house. Rosari and Abyss are definitely the darkest in the series. Rise comes in third, I think. Rosari is the darkest, no doubt. I did just play Abyss. I could see Abyss being dark. Abyss does deal with a lot of, like, topics and stuff that can be seen as dark. I'd probably put Arise as second, though, to be honest. But Abyss would probably be third after that. Vesperia has some dark moments. I wouldn't say Vesperia's story is dark. But Vesperia has dark moments, like, specifically, minor spoilers for Vesperia, but, um, Yuri killing Rago and Q more, IMO. But, I mean, thinking about it, think about this. Versaria and Arise are new games. Probably the darkest before them? Abyss, maybe, overall. Again, Vesperia has dark moments. I don't think Vesperia's story overall is that dark. But there are, like, a few moments in the game that are dark, like, mostly with Yuri killing Rago and Q-more. But, um, overall, outside of Berseria and Arise, which are new games, Abyss is probably up there. And having recently replayed it, I can stand by that opinion because I've recently replayed it. Anyway, we have to talk to Sharia for a side quest here. Zillia 2 is also fairly dark as well. I've only pl I haven't played it in a while, but I remember Zillia 2 is fairly dark. Shouldn't you be sleeping, Sharia? Huh? Oh, Asbel. I'm fine, really. It's nothing. Are you okay? What's wrong? I'm fine. Sometimes my chest starts to hurt and I can't stop coughing. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, she's using first aid on you. It just works in this uh, universe outside of battle. Hey, I actually feel a little better. Really? Wow. Was that some kind of magic spell? It was probably first aid. I don't know. I just wished her pain would go away. Probably first aid. Thank you. But seriously, Sharia, you should go rest. Yeah, that way I, get, I won't get yelled at too. I think we better go now. Take care, Sharia. Yes, of course. Thank you again. What a strange girl. If only I can do things like that. Then maybe I can be with Asbel and the others. Sidequests has been added to the user's guide. Oh, sidequests are like... You can like look back at them? That's interesting. I didn't know you can do that. Probably never really paid attention to it. Yeah, that was number one. Sharia had one of her spasms, but the symptoms seems to ease a bit after the mysterious girl touched her. Good for her. I think we're good to move on for now. Saw the scene with Sharia. Now we go to the manor. And then we have to go to, in the manor, we have to go to Carrie's room. After meeting with Asbel's father for another side quest, which is also missable. Yeah, I don't know. Abyss is definitely probably the darkest, like, for, for a while. I can agree with that, because Berseria came out in 2017. So, obviously, there had to be a darkest at some point. Because Abyss was made in 2005. For the time it was made, Abyss was definitely... Diff di uh, words. Abyss definitely deals with heavy subject matter, for sure. You certainly took your time, Asbel. Hmm. Who's the girl? We met her outside town. She seems to have amnesia. She doesn't remember who she is or where she's from. Oh? Well, we can worry about such things later. I need to speak with you. What is it now? I received a letter from a very important man in the capital. His son is coming to visit Lont. A visitor from the capital, huh? That's rare, isn't it, Dad? 
This boy is around the same age as you, but you are not to approach or speak with him. He hails from one of the most powerful families in the Windor Kingdom. We cannot be seen to show him even the slightest disrespect. If something were to happen, it would be a blight on the Launt name. Do you understand, Asbel? Yes, father. Why are you just asking me? Do you understand? Yes. Good. As for the girl, I shall hand her over to the authorities. I'm confident they will be able to find her family. This is the best thing we can do for her now. What? Huh? This plan should put your mind at ease, yes? I want to be with Asbel. You do? What is this about, Asbel? You don't want to go? I don't know, but I want to stay with Asbel. Well, you heard her. Are you in some sort of trouble? Of course she isn't. Um, right? Well, she cannot stay here. I will contact the authorities and make arrangements for her transfer. Quick, Asbel, we gotta get on the boat to New Parm ASAP. Don't worry about it. I can take care of her. What? I can take care of her. This is foolishness. I'm serious. Do you even understand what you're saying? He's 11 years old, probably not. You are a powerless child who couldn't possibly be entrusted with such responsibility. Well, how will you know if you don't let me try? My lord, a messenger has arrived concerning our guest from the capital. Right, send him in. Asbel, we shall continue this conversation later. Until then, stay out of trouble. Damn it. Come on, Asbel. I'm going to help her, and I don't care what anyone says. Let's go. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to New Parm. Meet with Justin and Fina. I don't care what you say, father. I'm a rebellious 11-year-old. Lord's heir. I mean, it's the only title I have now, so go ahead, put that bad boy on. Oh, this is something I want to change. I want to master all the titles, so I'm going to put these on until mastered, and then they'll automatically change them. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll put them on manual, and then I can control... Because right now it's pretty bare bones, but we'll get a lot more titles as we progress the game more. So now we go to Lady Carrie's room, which I think is just up here. Hence this star. Must you leave so soon? Is there no other way? It's for his own good. The sooner he gets there, the sooner he'll get used to it. He's just so young. Look, I know how you feel. I'm not happy to see him go either. This scene actually adds a lot of context for something that happens in the game. No, in the end, this is the best we can do for him. I don't want my boys fighting over a lot after I'm gone. Yes, you're right, of course. Have faith in him. He's a strong child. really like the... I haven't said this yet. I really like the color of Asbel's, like, hoodie. Because it's got a hood. really like it. Nice color scheme. I like his child design a little bit. It's really good. Asbel, your father's only strict because he expects great things from you. That's how fathers are. Etc, etc. But yeah, that scene actually, I kind of... That scene, honestly, like... There's those moments in Tales of where I'm like, this scene should be in the main story. That's definitely a scene that should be in the main story because if it's very missable. If you don't do it, it will probably... It does add, like, context and depth to something that happens in the story. So without it, like, I wouldn't say it's, like, a plot hole per se. But it is kind of like, oh, I wonder why this happened, etc. Um, is there another skit I need to watch? Overheard the conversation, head out of the manor for a scene, we'll get a title, 
and then we go back to Asbel's room slash desk. Seems like all Dad knows how to do is treat me like a child. I can't stand it. Why am I the only one he ever yells at? W well, you're the oldest, and that means you'll be the Lord of Lot one day. Also, you're a troublemaker? I'd rather become a knight in service of the king. The capital has a special training school for knights. Did you know that? I've heard of it. But Asbel, can you... Can you really take care of this girl? Yeah. I don't have a choice. I have to show Dad that I'm not just some useless child. Well, yes, but... I Yo, what's up, Sharia? You feeling better? Oh, yes, I'm fine. So, did your dad decide what to do with the mystery girl? Yeah. I'm gonna take care of her. What? <laughs> that expression. The all caps. Don't shout like that. You'll make yourself sick again. It's your fault. What do you mean you're going to take care of her? I just mean I'll be responsible for her until we find out who she is. What if we never find out? Well, then, I'll be with her for the rest of my life. Oh, that's uh, it's quite a quite a bold statement, a bold promise. The rest of your... No, you can't do that. Are you kidding me? You just can't. Too late. I've already decided. By the way, I forgot to point this out. I don't know how it took me so long, but uh, Sharia here, uh, for anyone who's played like Persona 4 or something, um, she is voiced by Laura Paley. Laura, Laura Bailey, who does, um, Risei from Persona 4. I don't know why I didn't point that out, because, like, Sherry is, like, one of the first people I think of with, uh, Laura Bailey's voice actress. Let it go, Sherry. He'll never change his mind now. Unbelievable! This is really good, because this actually sounds like Laura Bailey. She does really good at this, uh, child Sherry voice. You're with us now, okay? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. But if you're gonna be our friend, we need to give you a name. Hmm. How about... <gasps> Tiger Festival! It's perfect. Let's roll with it. You idiot! What kind of a girl would want a stupid name like that? Unbelievable! My brother's not very good with names. You're right. We probably shouldn't name her after a tiger. We should name her after, like, a different animal, like a dolphin. Fine, then. What do you want to call her? Um, well, I don't know. We found her in a meadow, right? So maybe we should name her after a flower. Sharia, what was the name of that flower I gave you? Hmm? It's called a Sopharia. Sopharia. Aha! I got it! We're gonna name her Sophie. Yeah, there it is. I named her. It's not it's not like it's the first time we heard it, right? Sophie. Oh, it's kinda pretty. I agree. It's a good name. Alright. From now on, your name is Sophie. Is that okay? Sophie? Sophie. Well, do you like it or what? She probably prefers Tiger Festival. My name is Sophie. Nice to meet you, Sophie. Hurry, this way. Sophie, come on. We 
Where are they going? Forgive me, young masters, but did Lord Aston perchance come this way? He just ran by a second ago. It seems like he was headed out of town. What the heck happened? The turtle's transport containing our young guest is long overdue. Lord Aston fears they may have met with tragedy on the road. That guest must be the boy Dad was talking about. We should go take a look for ourselves. Don't be silly. What can we do? We'll just get in the way. Huh. We won't know for sure unless we try. The kid's coming from the capital, so we should head in that direction. All right, everyone, let's get this show on the road. Dude, I really like Asbel's younger self. Asbel's like child. Asbel as a child is so much like Justin, and I just really like it in the early stages of Grandia. You got a new title, named after a flower. Also, Sophie is your name. Uh, I would have preferred Tiger Festival, but I guess Sophie's what we're going with. Still good on difficulty and everything. I think if you go back to Asbel's desk, there should be another skip. 